now to create a simple automation project in IntelliJ. So let's start up IntelliJ. I'm going to create a new project. So let's call this my first my first Selenium IntelliJ Maven and you can see it's been stored in the IntelliJ projects folder that'll be fine for just now let's open up the firewall to IntelliJ Now, I'm going to call the group ID test.com. That's fine for an artifact ID. Version 1. Let's just take the default. Let's make it as simple as we can. Finish that. So now IntelliJ has created a simple project for us. So let's have a look and see what it's done. So it has given us the Maven source folder structure that we require. Maven uses a standard folder structure. Therefore Maven can work its, its Maven magic and you don't have to configure it as much. So we've got a very simple POM here, which has got the group ID, the artifact ID, and the version ID. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a dependency on WebDriver. So if we head off to the Selenium HQ site, since we've visited it already, that's there in our URL. And it will tell us that to use WebDriver with Maven, all we need to do is add this dependency into our dependencies section. So let's create a dependency section. And add that dependency in there. I will enable auto import on Maven projects. That way when I change the palm or anything like that, it will do the, the magic that is required. So whilst it's doing its indexing and working way through that, I'm going to create a simple test that uses this. So let me create a package structure for this. So I'm going to call home, call eval, oops. You know, tester.webdriver, that would be a good package. Then in there, let's create a first test class, a Java class. I'm going to call this my first test. Great. So what we need to do is create a test within this class. Now, we have not yet added a JUnit into the POM, so it will complain about that test when it realizes it's an annotation. So let's create the test method. Oops. There we go. So all I'm going to do in this test is start WebDriver, navigate to a website, and check that the title is correct. But the first thing we have to do is make sure that the test is in the correct place. Now, this is saying add the Maven dependency. So I do want to add the Maven dependency, but let's show you where we find it. So on the Maven site, there is a, an example of how to bring JUnit into your Maven project. So let's just copy the details from here, bring that across, add that into my dependencies section. Save this, 
So we should have that dependency in there now. Then if I do Alt Enter, we'll get the auto fix in there. And we've got test in from JUnit now. So in this test, I'm going to create a web driver object called driver. I'm going to make it a new Firefox driver. IntelliJ is making this easy by doing all the code completion for me. So I'm going to driver.navigate to nice and literate HTTP colon slash slash selenium. Let's spell this correctly. Selenium simplify.com. That's my main web page for dealing with selenium stuff. Let's assert. So let's assert that it is true that the title starts so I'm going to check the driver dot get title starts with and I want it to start with selenium selenium simplified if we're on the right page so we better import from the JUnit framework and what I haven't done is set up IntelliJ with the JDK which is why I can't find the starts with so I'm going to do that now set up the JDK and we put the JDK into Java yes let's reload that as far as it's indexing let's driver dot close I'm going to let IntelliJ finish its thing Okay, let's see if we can run this while it's still indexing. So I'm going to run start web driver. SJ unit test. Okay, we can't do that until it's updated. Okay, let's see if we can run the test now that it's finished indexing. So right click, run start web driver. unblock everything so IntelliJ the test has started up Firefox it's gone off to the website it's checking the title and it said all tests are passed so there you go a first test in IntelliJ using Maven how easy could this stuff be